The defense secretary says Mr. Corbyn has, quote, betrayed his country. In what way? Well, the defense secretary's chosen his own words. I mean, the point for me about this debacle no, has is he that betrayed we believe... His country? Well, Jeremy Corbyn, I think, is a grave danger to this country, but that's because has of the... Has he betrayed the but country? That's because of the, the ideas in which he believes and what that would mean well, that, for our well, that, economy that, and that, our that's society. Fine. People have all he sorts of ideas. But you're a defence secretary. Our defence secretary, the defence secretary of this government, of our government, has said the leader of Her Majesty's opposition has betrayed his country. In what way has he betrayed his country? Well, that it really is a question for Gavin Williamson. That's not the so word. So you don't agree with it? Well, I'm not, I'm not really commenting on the... Uh, well, do you think the... he's betrayed the country? I think that Jeremy Corbyn is a grave danger to our country. But that's a political it... point. That's a different... Of course you do. Everybody in one party thinks the other party's a grave danger. Betrayal is an entirely different matter. That's a serious accusation. I just point out that a senior figure in the Czech Republic Defence Ministry says Sarkozy, who is the former Czech spy, it's his real name, is a liar. That's the exact word. The director of the Czech Archives on Security says no files show Mr Corbyn cooperating with Czech intelligence. The German archivists say there are no Stasi files on Mr Corbyn at all. So I ask again, in what sense has Mr Corbyn betrayed this country? Well, Andrew, I'm not going to comment on that. As you've su suggested, this is uh, an area where there's lots of questions to answer. Well, We've got a free press in this country. The free press is asking the questions. They should be answered. Yeah, but you, it's not just the free press. Your fellow Tories are all piling in as a result. Your security minister, again, the key word security minister, he's compared Mr Corbyn to Kim Philby. Kim Philby was a traitor. At the time, if he'd been found guilty, he would have been hanged. That's an outrageous smear to say of the leader of the opposition. Well, Andrew, I'm not going to allow you to draw me into potentially libelling anybody, uh, and so I'm not going to comment on so that. So you don't agree with that either? So well, you I'm don't not... agree with the Defence Minister, you don't agree with the Security Minister? Well, this is classic dead cat strategy, isn't it? The government's on well, the ropes on a whole range of issues, from NHS crisis, children's right. services are in crisis... I've got the government, the domestic... on, the, I've got the government on the ropes and you've just interrupted. The, the so domestic let me try and agenda. Keep, let me try and keep them on the ropes. A Tory backbencher, MP, Ben Bradley, he tweeted that Mr Corbyn had, quote, sold British secrets to communist spies. Sold British secrets to communist spies. So clearly without evidence that he hen then had to delete it. Well, that is really is a matter for Ben. But what I would say to you is that we, we believe in a free press in this country. The questions not, have been I, asked. I'm not the asking, questions need I'm, to be answered. I'm asking, and, do you think that Mr Corbyn can be compared to Kim Philby? Do you think that he has in any way betrayed this country? Do you think he sold British secrets? Do you think any of that? I've got no evidence for any of that, and so I won't make so any... So why do your colleagues? Well, that's a matter for them, Andrew. Surely the real scandal, Mr Baker, isn't what Mr Corbyn has supposedly done or not done. It's the outright lies and disinformation that your fellow Tories are spreading. That's the real scandal, isn't it? I'm not going to accuse my colleagues of lies or disinformation. They will need to, they will need to defend what they've said. Well, I would put it to you, it's clearly a lie on any evidence so far available to us that Mr Corbyn sold British secrets to the communists. Agreed? Uh, I've got no evidence to make a judgment So to claim way. so question... would be a lie. Well, the question's been asked, the question should be answered, uh, but it's not for me to sit here on your programme tr inventing evidence and reaching a conclusion myself. It's not something I'm willing to you, do. You leave that to your Tory colleagues.